What's up guys, Joe from My Tech Jam here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play PSP games on your Amazon Fire TV or Fire TV Stick. Before we get started guys, remember if you like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more Amazon Fire TV tips and tutorials. Also keep in mind that the PSP games play a lot better on the Fire TV box than they do on the Fire TV stick. On the Fire Stick, to get the games to play correctly you'll probably have to use frame skipping and I'll show you how to set that up later in the video. So the first thing you need to do is scroll over to settings on your Fire TV, then over to device, then under developer options, turn apps from unknown sources on. You'll get this pop-up, just click turn on. The next thing we're going to do is install ES File Explorer, so exit back to the home screen of your Fire TV, then move over to the left into the search section and type in ES File Explorer. Once you're done with that, scroll down and hover over the words ES File Explorer and click on it. Then click on the ES File Explorer app, and then choose download. It may also say get if you've never downloaded the app before. Once it finishes installing, click Open. The first time you open it up, you'll get this pop-up. Just click the back button on your remote to close it out. Now scroll down to the bottom of your screen and click on New. The easiest way to get over there is to go over to the left side of your screen and then come down and to the right. Once you click on New, leave the type as HTTP Web and in the path type in HTTPS colon slash slash mytechjam.com slash PSP.apk. Once you have that typed in, click Next and then click OK. Then it's going to pull up a blank screen and you have to scroll down to the bottom right and click on More. Once you click on More, choose Open in Browser. Then choose ES Downloader and just once. The file will now start to download. Once it finishes, choose Open File, then choose Install and Install again. The PSP emulator is now being installed onto your Fire Stick. Once it finishes, choose Done and it should take you back into ES File Explorer. The next thing you're going to want to do is get some games onto your Fire TV. If you're using the Fire TV box, the easiest way to do this is to probably just put them on a USB flash drive and then plug the flash drive into your Fire TV. If you're using a Fire TV stick or a USB flash drive isn't an option, the best way to do this is to probably put all of your games into a cloud storage account such as Dropbox and then sync that account up with ES File Explorer and transfer the files over like that. Keep in mind that the PSP games are pretty large, so you're not going to be able to fit that many of them on the Fire Stick at one time. Also keep in mind that the games need to be in ISO or CSO file format to work with the emulator. And to find the games, you can just do a simple Google search of PSP ROMs and it should give you plenty of sources to download from. So once you have your games in your cloud storage account, scroll over to the left side of your screen and click on Network, then scroll down and click Cloud. Then choose the type of account you're going to use. I'm going to be using Dropbox. And then type in your account credentials and sign in. Once you have your information typed in, click Sign In. Then click Allow. And then click on your account to open it up. So what we're basically going to do is copy and paste our games onto the Fire TV. So hover over the games you'd like to transfer over and hold down the Select button and then scroll down to the bottom and click copy. Then hit the back button on your remote a few times to get back to the main menu of ES File Explorer, click internal storage, and then scroll down to the bottom and click new. Now we're going to create a folder to put our ROMs in. I'm just going to call it ROMs PSP. You can call it whatever you want. Once you have your name typed in, click next and then click on the folder you just created. Once you're in the folder, click Paste to transfer over your games. Once it finishes, you can exit out of ES File Explorer and back to the main menu of your Fire TV. 
Once you're back in the Fire TV menu, scroll down to your apps and games, then go all the way over to the right and click See All. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you should see the PSP emulator. Click on it to open it up. Keep in mind that after opening it once from here, it will appear in your Recents menu going forward. To navigate and select items in the PSP emulator menu, you're going to need a game controller or a mouse, because with the regular Fire TV remote, you cannot select items. So the first thing we're going to do is click on Settings on the right side of the screen. Then scroll down and click Controls. Then Control Mapping. And in this menu here, you can map all of your game controls. The next thing you'll want to make note of is in the Graphics menu. If you scroll down, you'll see an option for frame skipping. You're probably going to need to use this to get some of these games to work correctly if they're lagging a lot. To open up a game, just browse to the folder where you have your files. For me, it's the ROMs PSP folder. And then click on the game to play it. Before opening a game, make sure you know which button is mapped as your pause button because this is going to be your way to exit out of a game. By default, on the Fire TV game controller, it's a click of the right stick. And if you have your game stored outside of your internal storage, you can click the arrow on the top left two times and then you should be able to browse your SD card or a USB flash drive. I will now quickly show you a demonstration of a game running on the Fire TV stick and the Fire TV box. As always, if you guys like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more content.